Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Cyrus and Athreus once again, because we're in meme mode. We're all about the memes, doing the fun stuff, doing the crazy stuff, even if it's not absolutely the best board, but make something special, make something crazy. And in this game, Kidnap Sack plus an extra quest for mechs makes some really funny mech stacking. You get tons and tons of stats on one magnetic minion, then just keep picking it up and putting it on other magnets, find a bunch of beatboxers, and uh-huh. That's going to be a lot of stats and a lot of gold per turn. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of extra gold a turn over and over and over. No way you're getting through all that gold. All right, <laughs> enjoy. Basketball nailed it. Got him. <laughs> nah, rating is is over for me right now. And I don't say that as a coping mechanism. It's consciously made the choice not to play for, for rank one anymore about a month ago. Was like, you know what? We're just going to meme games, concede bad games, play fun shit, die immediately in eighth. Who cares? Just try to do as much fun stuff in a day as possible until next patch. Because like this game right now is really boring two accounts then you just play against people that don't know the game and i don't like smurfing 40 cards to hand eh that's a lot of cards to hand how is this even remotely possible scepter for mechs sounds like memes or divine armor for 15 minions die sack plus mech Live by the meme, die by the meme. <laughs> Is it mech time? It's my favorite meme this season, man. I love mechs. <laughs> Give me that mech game every time. Play on alt accounts so you can play my low MMR games. The problem with, like, smurfing is that you have to actively concede. Because people that play above 9k right now still just get the top lobbies. All I would be doing is, is tanking other people's MMR that they're gaining in my games. And I would still be playing the top lobbies. Unless I'm actively conceding offline 15 times for every stream. And then putting myself back at 6k. And then all I would be doing is stealing MMR from people that are lower rated. There's really no, no winning here. It's just all kind of a dick move. Nah. I think I'll just play on the main account and give away some of my rating. Who cares? These quests are the same quality as the blue jackets. Yeah, they're definitely not game winners, but they could be meme worthy. And why you got to hate on my blue jackets, bro? <laughs> Warranted or not. Okay. Jeez. All right, well, he didn't have much power. I can almost guarantee this thing suicides, which is nice, I guess. Not use this? Here, have this in the shop. I'll be right back, one second. Got nothing, basically. We have to play three minions to get this done this turn. Which we could do. Just take the extra minion from the kidnap sack, or we could just level and passively get it. The fact that we have a ghost in the game is, is kind of interesting. I do like putting uh, all the magnets on the board. It sets us up nicely for the future. What is this mess? I mean, it's not that bad of a board. This isn't that bad. I ain't hating too much on this one. It 
This ain't that bad. Let's be real. Bank the money. Take the money and run. All you see is ears, but there's puppies. Do you have any jerseys from any of the teams, Bofer? If so, what's your fave? I do not have a lot of jerseys. I've never really been a spend money on jerseys kind of person. I think people kind of might have gathered this impression from me gradually over time, but I don't really spend money on stuff. I don't run the heat in the winter. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Don't have a lot of jerseys. Not a great combat. Let's see. Do I have anything from any of these teams? Nope. Not a single jersey. I'm not closet. Thinking about it. Oh, that's a card. That's a card right there. Do we start consolidating or not? This ghost is very likely a godsend for this game. If we're going to be memeing, we're going to need the time to do it. Yeah, the last jersey I bought was a Joe Hayden Browns jersey. I do not still have it. He went to the Steelers. <laughs> Bump ever worth it against Quilbor? Probably not. Here's the upside of that this thing can uh, open up a space for 1-1, one, one, but the downside is that they lead with Divine Shields a lot more often. So you like, you let them get better trades. Boo. Ew. That was the worst, the second worst hit, I suppose, but maybe we can kill one of these guys off. That'd be nice. Maybe something dies on the board. Instead of just taking max damage. Or at least a three star dead. Saw signs of the swarm today. Signs of the swarm. What is that, Spinnigan? Oh, banned. I've not seen signs of the swarm. I connected immediately when I saw your name. I was like, I know what you're talking about. Did not connect to the name because I don't know who they are. But I know what you're going to hold a conversation on. What is Finnegan talking about? My music man? Ooh. Beatboxer. Oh my god, it's a beatboxer. Cooking. Guys, guys, we're cooking. <laughs> guys, we're cooking. Oh, we're so cooking. <laughs> Memes, let's go. Give me memes or give me death. Ghost round, so we don't care about the spellcraft. Kidnap sack allows me to pick up my magnet repeatedly, put it on something else each turn, and duplicate it onto the beatboxer. Exponential stat growth. Too bad the exponent is pretty low at the moment. Magnets, how do they work? They do. They do. Beatboxer should have been five mana, a tier five? No, no, not at all. No, no, no. Oh. Yes, good. <laughs> I want them both. Which means I just have to sell one of these, right? Can steal Zesty for free. Was there Zesty? I didn't see it. Could have taken a Zesty. I don't think I want the taunt on these with the lures. I think I want one here and I want one on small minion. 
Unless I really want bumper. Definitely one there. Probably small minion. Against this board state. Buff the taunt in the shop, right? You can, but that puts the taunt on the, the big minions. And I think we're weaker by putting the taunt on the big minions for the turn, even though we could take a couple extra stats. I really want one of them on this, for sure. Question is, would you put one of them on the magnetic so it could attach to both of them? I don't think we want that. For these reasons. Gross. Gross. Just taunting up those kind of things loses so much value. Do the magnetics get used go back in the pool? Yes. It's a big boy board. What do you think that making a build fun, being unconventional, being hard to get, being OP, what makes it fun? Doing different stuff and having a level of success with it. The same thing over and over again is like the opposite of fun. So unconventional is probably your best your best definition, you said there. Game? Another magnet, please? Just a magnetic minion? Fluidity! I can't find another magnet, though. Next board, for sure. Gonna have to wait on the fluidity. Look at it, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Look at it. Surely it'll carry us. No mech demon craziness. Too slow, unfortunately. Just like I'd like scavenge. It's cool too. I'd love a lot of this shit. He does not have the thing. He went all in on the Bramble Witch to survive. Cool. How big did you get? One fives? I got 270 gold a turn yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how fast it can ramp out of control. The double header the other day had the potential of, of real exponential growth, but we didn't get that. 24. Really like the level. Surely this is the time. Ooh. Is utility drone useful enough? So busted? It's not that busted. Like, yay! 30-30. But it's all stats on the same minion. I think it's just barely worth it at the moment. No. No. I need a magnet and preferably get another beatboxer. It's okay though. why it's so awkward like i just don't have enough minions rolled over a wee i know right 
if it's just about stats, we can win off of it. But if it's about unit count at all, like he just has poisons and shit, you just lose. Now we're a one minion, Andy. Pretty close. We didn't have magnets for two of the original, right? I don't think so. We could have played the uh, module or the, the gold guy instead of instead of magnetizing it, but you'd lose the gold for permanent turn or future turns, which I don't think is worthwhile. Could just not sold and picked it up. It seems weak. You gain much more by not doing it or by doing it than not doing it. Just need more beatboxers. Just need more beatboxers. The only really debatable line was whether you should attach both both gold guys first or not. Because if you don't, or if you do, then you get better about value on average. Beatboxer, what up, buddy? Guys, we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're sold out of mechs. card no bramble witches bramble witches are cheating do i like it yeah i'm not freezing for it though why no triple just cost money magnetics are better i'll take the triple when i have infinite gold next turn but there was the opportunity of a magnet versus a triple and i don't value the triple at all Next turn, we'll have a billion gold and we're tutoring mechs. We'll just pick it up. Mally went for Wheeze, though. It's true. Wheeze are OP. Everyone likes a good Wii. All right. Money! Ghost? Oh my god, we're gonna be rich. 56 gold. It's pretty cool. Buy beatboxer at this point? Hell yeah, we buy beatboxer at this point. Love how slow this is to see what you're buying. We can hold that for the end, but 90% of the time we're just not gonna use it. Oh, I missed the gold thing. Whoops. I'm so busy looking at the right side, I missed the left side. I want to know if we get a beatboxer again. Before making this decision. Squints at board. Double into turn effects is just stats, and I don't care about stats. Beatboxer! Surely this won't be, be bait. These aren't beatboxers. Find me another beatboxer. Another magnet. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. 
Whoops, whoops, whoops. Look here first. Look there first. Just in case we don't have enough gold for next turn. Didn't mean to take the triple. I just didn't see it. Bought it so quick with the the glowing blue animation. I didn't realize it was there. Oh, well, we had the triple already. All right. Show me another beatboxer, Bob. Yeah, make our board a lot more robust, wouldn't it? Otherwise, you probably should buy a stealth guy if we can find it. Hide the beatboxer. <laughs> We're going to have infinite, infinite gold now, right? Gold done. Yes. Beautiful animation. 105. Yeah, here. Yeah, here. Just make my life easier. A pair, not a triple. Don't want any of these. Get the fuck out of my hand. Could look at it for the chance of beatboxer. That takes a lot of time. Jesus. You down, you here. Okay, I should look at this. It's not beatboxer. Are you beatboxer? Really like another beatboxer. Take it down here. Beatboxer? Beatboxer? I'm just going to stealth exactly this one. Whoops. I think the last one down. You're wasting gold. Yeah, I mean, do it right in this scenario is actually a little better than do everything. Should pull this back further, just in case. Because like in these scenarios, finding another beatboxer is so much more important than like slight having slightly more stats. Because we could just lose to a single tech card. Stealth was pretty good. Pretty much just plays around the Bramble Witch issue. I just should have pulled it back a little bit further. Bob, we're going to need some pants. I mean, we're never getting through all the gold. Not realistically. Not without disconnecting. 45 gold is a decent tip. That's right. I'm here for Bob. Animations. Go, 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 go. All right, well, we're going to take a minute here. 200 gold. Should we buy and cycle the coins, guys? a triple cool the most likely thing to, to triple into this was such a waste of time <laughs> here have this Dude, the animation time for the game is so long right now. This is nuts. Ugh. Ugh. That's a magnetic. I just didn't see it in time. Ugh. <laughs> it's, so is that. 
Jesus. I can't tell what I'm buying. Are you a beatboxer? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Do care. Maybe another beatboxer. Be pretty cool. Maybe hard roll for it at the end of the turn. Okay. How much gold do we have? I don't know. This is why I don't care at all about the utility drone. It's so few stats compared to just the, the sheer magnetic exponential scaling. Uh-oh. This may die. If he has the right uh, secret for it. Never mind. This dies. Reckoning dies. Dang, this guy's got secrets? <laughs> he got secrets, dude. <laughs> We're at 5,000, 5,000. I wonder how much gold we have next turn. Venom Strike. Oh, that's something. I'm pretty sure he can't kill both of these, though. That's too much number. It's pretty close, though. Never mind. Venom Strike's got us covered. Still got Ice Block. Why does this go past 100 gold, but spells capped at 100? It doesn't anymore. They changed it a couple patches ago. Everything goes past 100 now. We have 5,000 gold. Yes. Yes, we do. Mech memes. Is it not worth buying the 2020 spell to use on the magnetics you buy? You really think it's worth the animation time? Think it's worth the animation time to get like a couple stats? I feel like the only thing that really matters in this game anymore is finding beatboxers and triples. This is going to be a decade watching this animation play. All right. How's it going, chat? How's life? Life good? Oh, 469 gold? Just get out of here. Beatboxer! On the board, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. Eh. 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 You. You. Go. You. Fuck off. Triple. Man, I don't really want another beatboxer. I want to hold the triple till I see if I get another beatboxer, actually. These aren't magnets. <laughs> the game is just chugging, man. <laughs> to hear my GPU right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Tries to, to decode what card he's buying. What's the stack on right now? Nothing. So any triple's fine. I just need to make sure I don't buy it. A pair, that's a pair. Trying to keep track in my head with what is a potential triple. There's one. Buy. That's a good hit. You, 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 that's the end. 
How do you get so much gold? Exponential scaling. Should freeze that. Every time we're attaching the stack, we're applying the stack to every other beatboxer that's there. Would have been really good. That one game we had double header was just hilarious because it actually is like each time was time six. This is just additive. But still, additive when you're buying extra minions. This is disgusting. If the game would, would function, it would be even more disgusting. But we can only do like 50 actions in 80 seconds because the game's super, super laggy by this point. Wonder how many total minions you have? A lot. And a lot of total buffs. The game just doesn't know what to do with it. Mutinous only a magnetic onto? Hey, what's up, Jeef? A yeah, double header makes this actually hilarious because you can just fluidity it back in the shop and, and double the stack. <laughs> imagine if the game was playable. Imagine if it ran at over one FPS. Imagine if it was actually playable and it loaded. <laughs> See you guys in what, 60 seconds after this plays? <laughs> Hopefully I can use at least my kidnap sack at some point this turn. Oh my god. Breaking the gold barrier. Hey, 800. Oh my god. Click. Eh. <laughs> it's hopeless. Oh, that's a magnetic. I should really just go a little slower, considering how long it takes for the animation anyway. Go even slower. Amazing that we haven't found another beatboxer. I know there's not many in the pool, but like, we're tutoring mechs on every board. Can we make the game go even slower? I'm going to put it on the cleave at the end just for you guys. Because you always seem to want to do that. Is that a triple? That is a triple. So you're on the board. You get picked up. You get placed here. You take that. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Function game. Function. Holy crap, 800 gold? It's just... not... functional. <laughs> Alright, for you guys. The game is actually just freezing. <laughs> Go! <laughs> it's so bad. All right. So the gold rose over? Yeah, it goes over to the next game. Hi, YouTube. Dude, it's just like nothing's playing anymore. There's the mantids. I, for one, am shocked. At least we lead with the little guys so that they don't die to the secrets. Sometime in the near future, we'll see this combat. Or we won't. I don't know. I guess we'll find out some other day. Wonder if you won? I don't know, dude. That was a lot of hustle for the game being the limiting factor. You were reconnected. Nice. We won! <laughs> And the tavern's empty. Bar is closing, folks. 
You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. GG, even Bob left? Yeah, Bob had had it, honestly. We gave him so much gold and tips this game that he's actually deserted the fucking tavern and he's gone. Bob has retired. We gave him like 3,000 gold and tips this game. Alright, yep. That's why you always you always give the give the gold magnetics to the mech player, Bob. Because he's gonna pay you back tenfold, hundredfold, thousandfold. If you give him enough of them. Yeah, that's that's gotta be my favorite meme in this this meta. Magnetic stacking.